Let's put a Phantom P65 speaker into a retrofit installation. These are the bracket parts you'll need. Although these parts come in the bracket packaging, they're for new construction use only. So put them into your inventory for future use. First, use the template to trace and cut a hole in the ceiling drywall. Be sure you have enough clear space in the ceiling to accommodate it. After we cut the hole, we fold the mounting bracket and pass it through the opening. Then we unfold the bracket in the ceiling and position it so it's centered in the cutout. We need to attach the bracket to the drywall to make sure the bracket and drywall are snug. Use the drywall screw template to find the exact location for the six screws. Place the template on the ceiling, aligning the triangle with the key on the mounting bracket. Use a punch to indicate the placement of the drywall screws. Hold the bracket with one hand as you screw through the ceiling. This will ensure a snug fit. The P65 speaker has bass down to 40 Hz and plays quite loud. A tight mechanical bond between the drywall and mounting bracket is important to keep the drywall mud from cracking and to give you the best acoustic performance. Once the bracket is screwed in, attach the mud ring. Use the 1 8 inch spacer ring under the mud ring when using 5 8 inch drywall. There's a key on the mud ring that aligns with a notch in the bracket. Line these up and screw the mud ring in with drywall screws. This is how the bracket assembly should look for your drywaller ready to mud. Use mesh tape with hot mud or paper tape with regular mud. Apply mud to the mud ring in a circular pattern and feather to the edges. When the mud is dried, clean off the inside lip of the mud ring. You want this as clean as possible before installing the speaker. Let's apply some primer and paint. And now we're ready to put the speaker in. The P65 uses our slot lock mounting system, so you should be familiar with this. We install the grill, check to make sure it's flush with the ceiling, and we're done. This whole process takes about 15 minutes, not including drying time, and you end up with this beautiful looking in-ceiling speaker.